Hello everyone, welcome to another update of Just the Peppers. So I'm starting to see color change, which I'm super excited about. Let me get this into the sun so you can actually see how beautiful they are. These are my purple bell peppers and they changed super rapidly. I'm talking like a couple of days. You could actually watch a difference from the morning to the evening. It was crazy. Um, if you want to see what that looked like, go check out my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, same name as this channel. Let's put this back and we'll show some more peppers. So habaneros, slowly but surely. I love the shape of this one. It's so squat. Um, can't wait till those start changing, but I feel like that's probably going to take a while. And the green bell here is getting really, really big. It dropped two after I picked the first one um, when we first started getting a heat wave, so that kind of sucked, but it's bouncing back. And there's more growth up top here, so we'll get more bells. That's okay. Over on this side, I have my lunchbox orange that accidentally got crossed. It used to be on the other side by the bell peppers. Let me try and show the bottom of it here but it definitely got accidentally crossed because they're supposed to look like this one. So you can see there's a couple more here. There's one there and somewhere in here. Well, whatever, they're, oh, right there. That's what they're supposed to look like. Not like that, but it would be cool if it was crossed with a purple one. I'm still going to keep the seeds and grow it out and see what happens because any of the crosses I've tried have not been successful so far. But I guess I'll have a lunchbox orange bell pepper. The cayenne here hadn't done anything for a little while. I think it was lacking some nutrients but we just fertilized and it's doing alright. And that's definitely a new one. The rest of these guys have been on here for a while. That twisty one's kind of cool back here. So hopefully those start turning. And we have some pretty big Trinidad Scorpions. Put that tail on there. Well, it's not really a tail, but it's got that good, like, overhanging part to it. Super bumpy. Let's see if I can... I'm sorry, I'm terrible at being a camera person, but that one's got a way better tail. Pretty good looking. Wondering if this one was maybe crossed with something, because it doesn't have the same shape as the other ones, but... We'll find out, because there's actually only three pods on that guy. So, we'll see what the rest of them look like. And then we have our Caribbean Red here, which has just exploded since I took off the first pod. The first one stayed really, really small and just started getting kind of cracked looking. And we ate it on the 4th of July, and it was super hot apparently. I did not try it because I'm a wuss, but I'll get there. So these guys, they're looking good. There's lots of them. My Thai dragon, still the problem child, but I mean, it's still got the peppers. I still got this good curly one, but I had to cut off some of the top leaves. They had a problem. They weren't growing. I don't know if it was mites or if it was a nutrients issue, but I just removed them because they weren't doing the plant any good. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated there. And we have my super combined, or um, conjoined, I mean. Let's see if I can get a good on the pimiento. You can see where it would split off to be two stalks. It's actually just kind of fused and everything is stuck in the middle here. It's got a good sized pepper on it so far. I like that it looks like a giant acorn. You can kind of see better here how it's fused right in the middle there. 
everything is growing just super tight together and I have no clue how it's gonna let peppers get big when they're all on top of each other. So that'll be interesting. And I have some color change going on in the pepperoncinis, which is super exciting. It's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely orange compared to the green next to it, that one back there. Also changing. It's exciting. And my ghost peppers are just going crazy. I love how bumpy they are. They've got crazy tails on them. Just kind of gnarly looking. Probably going to taste pretty gnarly too. We'll see if that's one I even have the guts to taste. Yeah. Super bumpy. Super big. Can't wait till those start changing color. We also have some red starting to happen in the super chilies, which is exciting because this plant is just absolutely packed. So we're gonna get a whole lot of chilies from that, and that's gonna be great. And then in the corner, as always, we have the Hungarian wax, which have gotten to be pretty damn yellow and I'm just really resisting picking them but I'm gonna let them go a little bit more so they can get really mature and I can get the seeds from them and we've got some more new ones starting here I was starting to think nothing was happening with some of the plants but I think it was just that they were starting to turn colors, so they weren't producing any more little pods, but now that color change is happening, I'm seeing more little pods happening. It must just be how it works, right? And then my seedlings are growing really, really good. Got some nice dark leaves here. New Mexican gyms are really, really big. Hoping that I get some peppers from them this year. See, these are Peter peppers, Costa Rican chilies that also might be Phileas blue. I think I might have mislabeled some of them. Or no, Pico Roxas. That was the one I thought might be mislabeled. White Devil's Tongue. I've mixed these up so many times, I don't know what's what. I think these are all peach reapers. Genghis Khan brain there. Phileas blue. Black jalapenos, I'm excited for those. So yeah, they're going good here. I have a couple of them over in isolation because they've got some weird stuff going on so I don't want them near the other ones. As you can see it's kind of windy so it's making it hard. But these are the ones that are in isolation. That's alright. We still got a lot. Down here we have the first pepper on my spicy surprise, which I'm very sure is another Hungarian hot wax. But that is okay, because those are tasty. And then we have the first Cubanelle here. Got some more flowers happening there, but just the one pepper so far. So the biggest of them got moved to the back here with my other veggies. And when I say biggest, look at the poblano. It's almost at the top of the stick here. 
I'm 5'7", and it comes up to the top of my ribs right now. So that tells you how tall this sucker is. It's huge. I'm amazed. And it only has one little pepper so far. It is apparently focusing on just becoming a tree instead. And we have Fresno chilies looking really, really good in the sun back here. They're enjoying it. This area of my yard gets the most sun, so everything back here kind of just goes nuts as soon as I put it back here. Turn that around so you can see the peppers better. Looking forward to those starting to turn red. And my poor, poor sweet banana here. There's a little bit of craziness going on with the leaves, but like I said, they just got fertilized again. So hopefully that's gonna help. It does have a new flower, so that gives me hope. The other problem was that something, about two days after I put them back here, came and chomped the peppers and broke off a stem here. I lost three peppers. Well, I shouldn't say lost because my husband cut off the tip that was nibbled on and still ate them. So they didn't get wasted, I guess. That one's gonna be kinda cool because it definitely is shaped like a banana. But I'm gonna let these keep getting more yellow even though they're definitely super bright compared to, you know, the green that they were in the beginning. They're getting there. I could taste the difference though when we ate the ones that got pulled off and how sweet, you know, the biggest one was compared to the smallest one. So that's why we're gonna keep letting them go. And then we've got a flower here on my crazy jalapeno bush. There actually is two jalapenos in this mess now. There's one here. And let's see if I can find the other one. There it is. There's the other little guy. Yeah, there it is. So, if you don't know what's going on with this, there is, I think, I don't remember, I think there was 30 plants in here because I decided to make some insane bonsai that's all braided together and, I mean, they're growing. There's quite a few of the plants that have, if not flowers, flowers coming and I wouldn't do this again but I figured since they're just jalapenos they're nothing special nothing they're nothing special jalapenos why not let's experiment with them and then we'll go over here to the serranos we tried one that was probably about the size of this one, and it actually tasted really, really good. We got some more flowers on it. There they are. So, I'd say these are getting pretty close, but I'm trying to be patient and not pick everything prematurely, even though I want to. So that is the peppers, and I'll update again in another week or two, and we'll see if there's anything ready to pick then. Thanks for watching.